chicken cacciatore with the most amazing romanesco served with cheesy polenta. Now, the secret here is to make sure that we slice this chicken breast in half. Basically, we're gonna turn it into two nice scallops. That way it cooks evenly, but more importantly, we get a nice color on it, and when we start making the sauce, it's incredible. Hold the breast straight down. Get the knife and just slice through, keeping your hand nice and flat, and go all the way through. Open that up, you have got two beautiful breasts. Once the chicken's cut in half, we lightly flour it. Season the flour. Really important. The excess flour helps to thicken the wonderful sauce. Shake off any excess flour. The good news about this is that we sear the chicken, take out the chicken, make the sauce, and put the chicken back in the sauce. It's a great way of keeping the chicken nice and moist. More importantly, the flavor is incredible. I'll take my seasoning again. Salt, pepper, teaspoon of olive oil in. Bring the pan up to a light smoke. Chicken breasts in. And the secret here now is to get some great color on those chicken breasts. In we go. The flour protects the outside of the breast and stops it from drying out. A little touch of butter goes in. That helps to brown the chicken even more. The oil prevents the butter from burning. And then look, beautiful. Two minutes each side. The secret is to color it quickly and then we put it back into the pan once we've made the sauce. Chicken comes out. We just literally leave that to rest there. Now, we crack on with the sauce. Onions in first. And this is the base of the cacciatore sauce. Caramelize those onions. Fresh oil in there, lightly seasoned. And a little touch of butter. Really important now to fry the onions, literally caramelize them. That helps sweeten the dish. And more importantly, it gives a really nice texture to the chicken. Once you've got a color on the onions, a teaspoon of minced garlic. Caramelize the onions, caramelize the garlic, and now deglaze with white wine. Remove your eyebrows, turn the gas down, and this is where the sauce starts to take on almost like a league of its own because the depth of flavor in there already is incredible. Reduce the white wine down to a syrup. That gets it really sweet, removes the alcohol, but more importantly, gives a nice texture to the sauce. A couple of tablespoons of tomato sauce in. Mix that in. And then half a cup of chicken stock. Bring that to a boil. Once it starts to boil, turn the gas down and let it simmer. Once that's reduced down, we'll add the capers and the olives and then finish it with a touch of butter. First off, the fresh tomatoes in. Now the base of the sauce is ready. Put the chicken back in to the sauce. And now take that sauce and start literally cooking the chicken. And the secret here is that we've got the color on the chicken. The actual chicken starts to absorb all that amazing flavor. Turn the gas down and we let it simmer for seven to eight minutes. Now, Romanesco, I call it a posh cauliflower. These have been blanched in boiling water for 30 seconds, shocked in ice, so to retain the color. And the secret here now is to char them. Get a hot pan, lightly season salt, pepper, line the base of that pan with a touch of olive oil, just a smidgen. In we go. Beautiful. Now leave it sort of down so it starts to char. Once we've got that char on there, a little touch of butter right in the middle. And it starts to brown so quickly, puts that wonderful flavor all over. And then just give that a nice little touch. The flavor in this is incredible. Gas off, just lightly sprinkle with the chili flakes and then just squeeze your fresh lemon juice over it before it comes out. Great, beautiful. Now, to finish the polenta. Heat up your beautiful polenta, and then, as it gets up to room temperature, hit it with your Fontina cheese. Fontina gives it that sort of rich, buttery, slightly soury flavor. It is incredible. Beat that in and bring it up to temperature so as the polenta melts the cheese, but don't boil it. If you boil it, cheese starts to lose its fat and it looks greasy. We are ready to serve. Now, to finish the chicken, have a look what's happened to the chicken. The sauce is reduced down, the chicken is cooked, and we now sprinkle our olives. That gives the sauce the saltiness on there. Fresh capers gives that tartness to the chicken cacciatore. And then, finally, our lemon. That gives the acidity to the sauce. Before we mix that in, one final ingredient, and that's the fresh basil. Take our basil leaves, find your largest one first, and then stick all the small ones inside. Roll that nice and tight, and then, from there, one finger in front, two behind, and just let the knife do the work. Lift that up and sprinkle that over your chicken. Beautiful. And then from there, just mix that in with your chicken. The basil gives it its freshness. The olives give the nice saltiness. And then the tartness behind those capers is extraordinary. Right, start off with our creamy polenta in the middle. Beautiful. Lift up half your chicken and just very carefully place that on top of your polenta. The second one, beautiful. Your charred aromesco goes around the outside. And then finally, just take some of that sauce, cover your chicken over. This dish screams Mediterranean. So the best way to finish this now is with a little touch of arugula, a little touch 
of olive oil, lemon zest, lemon juice, some little shards of aged Parmesan. That gives a little bit of saltiness. And so you just lightly dress that and then just drop the salad beautifully. That is a beautiful, amazing, incredible chicken cacciatore. Mmm, that looks good.